right, so that video message from the former president recorded shortly before his death, released by his foundation just a little earlier this afternoon. Let's uh, bring in my colleague, reporter Pule Lechwiti jones uh, Pule, you've been assessing the response, and it is such a mixed feelings that I think South Africans have. Um, tell us a little bit more about, uh, about the mood and the tone and the response. All right. I mean, we've just heard from the last party president, F.W. Kleck. We also know that he saw the release of former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, on the 11th of February, 1990. Three years down the line, they were both awarded a Nobel Peace a Prizes Award for going to settlement agreements which would see South Africa go into its first democratic elections in 1994. From there onwards, he joined the National Unity Government led by um, the late um, former President of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, of course, and he resigned then in 1996. But, you know, tributes have been pouring from other political parties, foundations, citizens, and it's quite, like you're saying, quite mixed reactions and emotions again around um, the F.W. Clegg's death there. And I've got for you two bites that you can play and listen to what some of those um, political parties, uh, members and leaders had to say about his death as well. For those of us who fought for freedom and suffered under the hands of the white minority rule, especially the killing of our people in the township, the framing of uh, violence in the township in the 90s, was worse than what our people probably went through in the 70s and the 60s. And for me and for the APC, that, that is the dominant view that we have. Uh, we have nothing complimentary uh, to say about the Clegg or any of the apartheid rulers before him. On behalf of the Good Party, we want to express our deepest condolences to FW's wife, Elita, and the family on the passing of the former president, F.W. de Klerk. De Klerk played an important role in our country's transition from apartheid to a democracy and ensured a peaceful and reconciliatory process. He continued to serve our country after the attainment of our democracy. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, unfortunately, of course, you know, for some people, they can acknowledge uh, the role he played in, in, in moving us away from what UDM leader Bantu Holomisa said was going to be almost a certain bloodbath blood and towards democracy. Uh, but for some, his death means uh, that he's died without answering their questions. Um, tell us a little bit more about the Craddock Four and the statement that that foundation has released. You've seen the statement about the Craddock Four as well. The Fort Galata Foundation has called on the National Prosecuting Authority to accept accelerate the prosecution of TRC cases, They're saying that before more of, the, of those implicated in apartheid crimes die or pass on, it should be um, you know, investigated, there should be some form of accountability. This has been uh, going on for a while. Do you remember with the Ahmad Timor case as well that has been going on? Those are the kind of questions that are still remaining. Families that believe that they are hurt and haven't been answered are, call are calling for accountability. While well, politically as well, establishing that we're seeing the statements as well from the EFF who have said that that um, they will not be sending any tribute to um, FWD Clegg as well, saying that instead of remembering what they call um, the murderous regime, they stand as though that they cannot say anything which is quite comforting to his death. But that's just, you know, the twist and tale of what's happening while most will remember him for what he did, which was, of course, ushering South Africa into those democratic elections alongside the former President Nelson Mandela. Absolutely. And of course, he went on to, as you say, receive a Nobel Peace Prize along with Desmond Tutu, who also later received one, and Nelson Mandela for the role that he played, a very key role indeed. Thank you very much. And of course, we will continue to bring you a uh, reaction. We're also going to bring you uh, more information uh, that is coming out uh, from his foundation as funeral details become clear and an update from outside his home.